All right, it's Mike Simmons. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install or insert or add a logo into the WordPress 2012 theme. Now, the WordPress 2012 theme is a real nice theme. I really like it a lot. But, you know, when it comes right out of the box, when you first install it, uh, it looks just like this right here. Not very appealing. And one of the things it doesn't allow you to do, even though there's a lot of ways you can customize the theme, it doesn't have an option to add a logo. So in this video, I am going to show you how to do that by first we're going to install a plugin, and then we're going to change a little bit of code. And don't worry, beginners, it's really simple. No problems there. I'm going to walk you through step by step. Seriously, it's super simple. As long as you can highlight and copy and paste, you can do it. And once we get the code changed, we can easily install our logo onto our theme. Here are the steps we are going to follow. And I got to say, before you start, you really need to have a child theme. Just because if you do mess up, then you can easily fix it if you have a child theme. But if you do to your parent theme, you put the wrong code in there or somehow mess it up, you probably have to install WordPress again. And also, if you do any customizations at all to your theme, when the theme updates, which the 2012 and the 2013 themes have updated just recently, then you're going to lose all your customizations. So get a child theme. I'm going to put a link and an annotation you can click on and make a child theme for your 2012 theme or 2013 theme by following along with my video. And also along with the child theme, of course you need to have a logo and most likely it should be a transparent image file, a PN, transparent PNG. So the first step we're going to do is go into our cPanel account. And if you don't know how to get there, you can just put your domain name forward slash cPanel or you can click on the link in your HostGator email and it's called your control panel also. Click on that link and log in with your username and password. So let's go to our cPanel. All right, once you're on your cPanel, just scroll down and find the file manager under files. Click on that. And yes, we want to open the web root or the public HTML. And you most likely just click on WP content, double click to open it up. First, I am going to double click on 2012 because that's my test subdomain that I'm using for this video. Now I'm going to double click on WP content to open it up. Then we'll find the themes folder, double click on that. Now you'll notice right here we have the 2013, 2012, and then I have a child theme, 2012 child. So just take note of what your child theme is called, and then we're going to open up the 2012 theme. And we're going to scroll down until we find the header.php file. And you'll want to right click, click copy, and we're going to copy this right here, which is the header.php file from the 2012 theme and we're copying it to right here and I'm just going to put in the dash and the child so we're going to copy it to our 2012 child folder we'll just click copy files go up one level let's open up our 2012 child and now we have a header.php file so step one taken care of now we want to install the theme logo plugin so in order to do that you need to be in your WordPress back end or your WordPress dashboard. Okay, now we're in our WordPress dashboard. We'll just want to hover, go down to plugins and click on add new. And we're going to search for the theme logo plugin. And let's click search plugins and we'll click on details. Now, I, I had seen this plugin before and I actually tested it out and it worked fine, but I was hesitant to make a video and recommend it because it hadn't been updated in over two years. But the guy just updated it uh, about four weeks ago, so now I am recommending it. Uh, don't worry about this. It seems to work fine with my current version of WordPress. I'm going to click Install Now. We'll activate. Okay, so now we have the theme logo plugin. Now we're going to change some code in the header.php a file in the child theme folder. So first let's hover over appearance and click on theme logo. That'll be something new added. How to use. Go to your header file and replace the code, your image code with this. So highlight all of this from the less than sign to the greater sign. Right click and copy. Now we're going to go to I have it opened up in a different tab, but you'll want to hover over Appearance. 
and click on editor or you can right click and open a new tab like I have and then over here you'll by default it should be showing whichever theme you're using and I'm using the 2012 child so we want to click I'm gonna click on that again to highlight it okay there we go now we want to click on header which is the header.php file and then we'll scroll down where is it uh, right here now you see all this H group and there'll be the header ID masthead and all this all the way over here where it says rel equals home and then the greater than sign right after that greater than sign we're going to highlight all this code all the way down to above this H group excuse me that was my alarm clock now we're going to paste in that code that we have so now we've replaced all that code with the code from our theme logo plugin right here and of course we'll click update file okay so we've got our changed our code and now we need to upload our logo so I'm I have a different tab opened up you'll want to open up your your media tab then click on add new and I'm actually going to drag in a couple different images to demonstrate okay after your image uploads just click on edit right here it'll open up a new tab and over on the right you'll see fire file URL just double click in there to highlight the file text and then click copy then we're going to go back to our theme logo page which is under appearance and then theme logo first of all get rid of that default and then paste in your image file and click save changes so we uploaded our image uploaded our logo copy our logo image file paste in the logo location save changes now we'll go to our site click on reload the tab and there you go there's a little basic little logo now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the other logo that I uploaded I'm going to copy this code again go over to the theme logo highlight and paste in my other logo image click save changes reload the tab and now we have a little bit bigger see I've made this logo a lot bigger so it kind of looks like a header image it's a I kinda like this look it's just basic white with my my logo image and some text over here the size of the two different logos that I just uploaded the smaller one was 280 by 80 the bigger one was 930 by 137 and real quick I'll show you a, a cool little add-on for Firefox called measure it measure it I have it already installed in Firefox it's an add-on if I click on this see it, you can it kinda you can click and drag and decide figure out what the approximate size that you need for your image or your logo and that sort of thing see it says 914 by 149 so it gives you a pretty good approximation really cool little add-on I like it a lot measure it so that's the end of this video I hope you guys found it helpful and if you did I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and a favorite and you can subscribe to my channel I'm always adding new videos as time allows and as always keep on keeping on